This is going to be part one of the series of tutorials uh, designed to help you complete uh, McGraw-Hill, SimNet, Excel Chapter 3, Guided Project 3-3. Just like all the other projects of its kind, it starts by re uh, downloading a start file and, of, of course, recommended uh, downloading a solution, which is a PDF picture of what it should look like when it's done. I've already downloaded the start file and I've already opened it in Excel. And let's look at the requirements. Uh, I'm going to be doing this on a Mac, but I'm deliberately going to change the requirements to Windows. Uh, so whenever there's a, you know, a difference between Mac and Windows, it'll become apparent and then I'll point it out. But for right now, unless I point it out, everything is exactly the same on Mac and Windows. Uh, step number one is to open it like we always do. And if it opens in protected view, like it usually does on Windows, you click enable editing. We've done this in all the projects before. The next thing is to actually do something, create a pie chart object. Select the revenue by department sheet, and then we're going to select two uh, ranges of cells. So first of all, in this um, workbook, there are already two worksheets, one called first period and the other one called revenue by department. That's the one they want. And in revenue by department, let's see what they want us to select. They want us to select um, a4, F4, let's start with that. So A4 all the way to F4. Now it's very tempting to go, oh, they want the whole um, row and to go all the way to G. When we create a chart, we never include the total. The total is not a piece of the pie. The total is the whole pie. So we go all, only up to F. This is still selected, but then we want to add to it another selection, A13, F13. Now, if I just click, hold, and select, it'll forget my first selection. So on Mac, I hold Command. If you're on Windows, you hold Control. And click, hold, and drag. Now, now both those uh, areas are selected. It's called uh, selecting um, non-adjacent areas. I'll do it again. I'll select this area. Hold Command. If I was on Windows, I would hold Control and select this area. Again, be, be very careful not to include the total. What have we just selected? We selected basically two series. One of names, like, you know, um, the department, Golf, Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, blah, 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 blah. And we selected a bunch of numbers that correspond to them. And once we have those two, we call them arrays, we can build a chart. So how do we do that? Click the Insert Pie or Donut Chart button and choose 3D Pie. So this is something uh, on the Windows um, requirements. It's going to tell you to do it in a slightly different way. Let me see. Oh, actually, this is Windows. Um, insert Pie or Donut Chart button. Insert Tap Chart Group. So on Windows, there's actually an Insert uh donut pie right here. Now, in any case, on both Mac and Windows, here it is, 3D Pi, which is also called, it's from the group called 3D Pi. It's not the donut, it's the 3D Pi. Click. And as I click, it created, let's see what it did create. It created a pie chart. I'm already moving it because I know it's going to be moved, where the names of the slices are Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, San Diego, and San Luis, but the numbers that give each slice its size come from this series. When we create a chart, there's always two series. You can call them horizontal, vertical. You can call them X and Y, whatever, but we always need two. One for, let's say, the labels and the other one for the values. So we just created that. Let me do it again. Undo, undo. I create, I selected this, but without the total. I selected 13 by holding command on Windows. It would be control and selected this row and then insert. And then under the Pi ones, 3D Pi, we're good. Save. 
So we did A and B. Then we're going to apply a chart style. Select the chart, chart if necessary. For me, it's already selected. Uh, and we're going to the chart design tab and see all the different styles and select style three. So right here, chart design here, all the different ones. They say that you need to open it up, but actually you can see all the, the one you need right there. Style one, style two, they want style three. I hover over it. It says style three, click. And it changes it to be, you know, slightly different, you know, angles and so on. Save. We did step number three. Step number four, they want us to move it to the right um, place. Just like a range of cells, uh, a chart is measured by its top left and its bottom right. So they want the top left to be in h4 and the bottom right to be in q19 so let me do both of them h4 q19 so i'll drag this until the corner now it doesn't have to be all the way up as long as this corner is somewhere inside the cell h4 it'll register as correct so i'll bring it kind of close and the bottom right they want it to be in let me zoom out so I can see Q. They want it to be Q19, which is basically the last row of you know the numbers. They want it to be kind of flush. There's nothing that's going to show you where that uh, corner is. You have to kind of you know do it by eye. Good. If you're not sure, then this is exactly where the solution comes in. Here is the solution, and I'm looking at the solution and saying, oh, does this look like... This is page number two. Yep, it looks like you know the, the table and right next to it, the chart. But there's a few things we need to do to that chart to make it look like the solution. Here it comes. Um, we just positioned it and we dragged it to the right, you know, top left, bottom right corner. Double click the pie to open its format data series uh, task pane. So we're going to click the, the, the pie itself, double click the pie itself, click, click, and it opens a pane called format data series. See, I double click somewhere inside the pie. Then they want us to actually select a specific slice, slide, which is the San Diego. Click the San Diego slice to update the pane uh, to the format data point task pane. Uh, rest the pointer on a slice to see its identifying screen tip to refer to the legend so if, if you're not sure this is the one this is the uh, san diego if i'm not sure i'm looking okay san diego is the purple one so not this piece or this piece or all the pieces but one specific slice so everything i do right now in format data point will be just for that slice so there are three tabs here and the one we need is this one that looks like you know a little bar chart and what they want us to do there is to kind of separate one slice uh, click the series options, which is what we just did and set the pie explosion percent to 10 so series options explosion 10 percent what do they mean by explosion this is the series options and here's the point explosion and we're going to change it i can just step up and look at what happens to the slice as i go up once i reach 10 percent it kind of moved it away from the rest of the pie by 10 percent at this point of course i'm going to compare that with the solution and yep looks exactly like it and save the next thing they want us to do is to close the task pane and click the chart uh, object border to deselect the slice so in other words close this pane click outside anywhere and that deselects it and it looks great they want us to do a few more things to this chart before we're done but we're going to do them on the next part so let me stop this part and i'll see you in part two